Twin River Casino Hotel. We're on UFC Fight Pass. Been a great fight so far, guys. And here it is. This is what amounts to the championship round, if you will. Whoever takes this one likely taking the fight. We'll see if Knight can finally let things go. Misses with a wild kick there. If you're way on Knight's corner, you have to be really worried that the fight's going to go to the ground mm -hmm. and you're going to get weighted out again and lose a, the third round, lose a decision. Knight throwing everything but the kitchen sink at Edwards here in that early sequence. But you can tell Knight wants to get aggressive and wants to pick up the pace, at least in these first 30 seconds. Front leg kick, maybe soften up Edwards a bit. I mean, kicking William Knight's legs like kicking a Mack truck. It's unbelievable, the size and strength of those quads. Looks like Edwards is waiting. I'm not quite sure what he's waiting for. I don't know if he's waiting for a body kick to close the distance or a wild punch or something from Knight, but... I think he called it earlier. I think he's just trying to invite the takedown, invite the striking from William Knight to come forward and then try to wrap him up. Yeah, Knight's more than happy with those leg kicks. Soften him up, little distance finders, scoring points. I'm sure if you're Knight, you're hoping that that opens up an overhand of some sort or you can maybe even bait Edwards in. It's a cat and mouse game. Go. Edwards is trying to land, but Edwards actually lands on the way out. Yeah, he's game to throw hands. It's, it's not as if he's a sitting duck when, no. he, when he's in there. When it's a firefight, he's throwing back. He's faster than he looks. It fairly laid on his feet for his size. Three and a half to go in the third and final round. William Knight in the black and gold trunks taking on Rocky Edwards in the gray and black. And at least we think on our unofficial scorecards that we have a 1-1 final three minutes. It's still anybody's fight, anybody's round. So far, I'd have to give it to William Knight just sure. for controlling the center. More volume, more activities landed. He's absolutely been the aggressor. Goes upstairs with the leg kick. I mean, the uh, the head kick. If you're Rocky Edwards, you have to be thinking you have to try and make something happen a little bit. You cannot get sit back and get picked away for the rest of this round. No, and it doesn't look like Knight's going to bite at all at any point or try to shoot for a takedown here. And I think if Edwards is waiting for that, he may be making a mistake. We haven't seen Edwards change his level at all to go for a takedown, though. So for him, he's going to have to close the distance and use an upper body takedown, which seems like it would be pretty damn tough against William Sure, Knight. sure. I mean, to Edwards' credit, he's had Knight backpedaling a couple of times and they've gotten close and, ex and, and exchanged a bit. And like you said, Tom, the hands aren't that bad. Nice left jab. Oh, right. Oh, he's dropped over yeah. now. That's it. Knight finishes the fight in round three. What a finish for William Knight. Another knockout victory. He just picked his spot, guys. He got that two-punch combo, and he drops Rocky Edwards and finishes this one in grand fashion. Right hand over the top. Caught Edwards on the side of the head. Caught him on the ear. Edwards, upset with the ringside positions, actually shoving them away as they're trying to sit him down. I mean, he was Rocky, no pun intended, and popped back to his feet pretty quickly. Doctors just doing their due diligence, but here are a couple of angles of the finish. You have that, right jab, that short little left hand, the overhand right, throws off your equilibrium in your balance, Tom, when you get hit with one of those. That yeah, caught him right on the side of the head, right there. And you can see Rocky Edwards' legs just giving out from underneath him. No the, question, the, I think that was a good stoppage. I, I agree, the late reaction, Joe, right? But you can see the legs wobble. At that point, if Knight had landed, three or four more of those hammer fists, you could have really done some damage. And, and it's hard. Sometimes you get hit, like you want your left leg to go left, but it goes right. You just, it's its really tough to recover. So William Knight picks his spots in round three, finally lands the two-punch combo, letting his hands go, as we had been waiting for for most of the fight. And he finishes off Rock Edwards in grand fashion to improve the seven and one. That is his seventh win by knockout. So another big victory for William Knight in his triumphant return to the